In this video, I'm going to briefly cover Sigma XL's process capability templates, of which there are four. These templates are now available for the iPad and the iPhone via the Numbers app. Uh, to access these templates, simply click on the Templates and Calculators menu in Sigma XL. Scroll down to Process Capability Templates, and you'll see that we have four templates. We have uh, the first is Process Sigma Level Calculator Discrete Data. The second is Process Sigma Level Calculator Continuous Data. The third is Process Capability Indices Continuous Data. And the last is Process Capability Indices and Confidence Intervals for Continuous Data. Uh, now for these templates, all you have to do is enter in the required data and your results are produced below. Um, for example here, you enter your number of units, total number of defects observed, number of defect opportunities per unit, and the sigma shift, and your results are displayed below. Just a couple of notes about this process sigma level calculator. Uh, the total number of defects should include the defects made and later fixed, and the sample size should be large enough to observe at least five defects. Uh, next we have our process sigma level calculator for continuous data. And just as in the previous template, simply enter in the required data and your results are produced below. Um, this calculator assumes that the mean and standard deviation are computed from data that are normally distributed. Next we have our process capability indices continuous data template. And just a few notes about this template. This calculator assumes that the mean and standard deviation are computed from data that are normally distributed. Uh, this template reports the CP and CPK if the entered standard deviation is within our short term, and it reports the PP and PPK if the entered standard deviation is overall or long term. And finally, we have our process capability indices and confidence intervals for continuous data. Uh, just like the rest of the templates, enter in your data. The results are produced below. And just a few notes about this template as well. Uh, as before, this calculator assumes that the mean and standard deviation are computed from data that are normally distributed. Uh, again, it reports the CP and the CPK if the entered standard deviation is within or short term. And it reports the PP and PPK if the entered standard deviation is overall or long term. Uh, thank you for watching. And uh, once again, these templates can be ordered for the Numbers app on the iPad or iPhone via our website.